Hey, it's Mark from Ripple Training. So over the past few months, I've been working on updating our Blackmagic certified seven hour tutorial on advanced color grading in Resolve 17 so that it's fully compliant with the Resolve version 18. I've added sections that show the changes to the user interface and key menu items. And more importantly, I cover the new features in Resolve 18 that are relevant to color grading, like the new sky replacement with generative skies, the new object mode for the magic mask, simplified color management, the improved object remover, and much more. The tutorial comes with all the projects and media for following along. The tutorial is on sale for a limited time, so check it out at the link below. Now, today on MacBreak Studio, I'm going to show you an excerpt from a lesson where we use another new feature in Resolve 18, the depth mat effect, in order to make selections for color grading. Let's dive in. Another way to isolate specific areas of a shot for secondary color correction is by using the depth mat effect, which was added to Resolve 18. Note that since this effect uses DaVinci Resolve's neural engine, you'll need the studio version to use it without a watermark. I'll select this shot 04 and scrub through it. The camera pans left, the legs of a horse enter the frame, and we see our Roman soldier's legs as he jumps off the horse. We can tell by the icons in the node that this shot has been balanced and shot matched. I'll toggle that correction off and on with Commander Control D. Now I'd like to perform some secondary corrections on the wheel, the horse, and the soldier's legs. The depth mat effect can isolate areas based on how far they are from the camera. I'll create a new node with Option or Alt S, press Tab, and rename it Depth Map. Next, I'll click the Effects tab, scroll down to the Resolve FX Refine section, and drag the Depth Map effect onto the new node. Note this is just one way to apply Resolve FX, and we'll explore more options in later lessons. The effect automatically analyzes the shot, and because the Depth Map Preview is enabled, in the viewer we now see a grayscale representation of our shot. I'll change the quality level from better to faster to improve performance as we adjust this mat. As I scrub the clip, we see the wheel in the foreground is the lightest shade, then the horse's legs are a bit darker, the soldier's legs darker still, and the background goes from gray to almost black as it recedes from the camera position. For each element we want to isolate, the goal is to make it as white as possible, fully selected and the other elements as dark as possible, or fully deselected. Let's start with the wheel. With a playhead at the start of the clip, I'll enable Adjust Map Levels, and then increase the Far Limit until everything that is not the wheel turns black. Then I'll increase the Gamma to reduce the line along the top. With my selection completed, I'll reset the quality to Better, and disable the Depth Map Preview. Now I'll use the custom curves to lighten just the wheel a bit, both in the shadows and the highlights, and in the color wheels, I'll reduce the saturation. And if I toggle the node off and on with Commander Control D, we can see only the wheel has been affected. It now blends more into the background, focusing our attention towards the fallen comrade. I'll scrub the clip towards the end where we can see both the horse's and the soldier's legs. The horse's legs are quite dark, and also almost as close to the camera as the wheel, so let's see if we can adjust our existing depth map to include them. I'll change the quality to faster, and re-enable the preview. Then for the map adjustment, I'll reduce the near limit to include the legs in the selection, and adjust the gamma to reduce the foreground selection. And if we switch back to better quality, and disable the preview, then toggle the correction with Commander Control D, we can see the horse's legs are subtly affected, bringing out some detail in the hair near the hoofs. To isolate the rider's legs, we can use a separate instance of the depth mat effect. I'll add a new node with the Option or Alt S, select the depth map node and press Commander Control C to copy, select the new node and press Commander Control V to paste, and in the inspector, 
Click the icon at the top right to reset the effect and set the quality to faster. To isolate the rider's legs, I'll enable isolation, then drag the target depth slider to attempt to isolate his legs. A lot of foreground is also selected, so I'll reduce the tolerance almost all the way. Then adjust the target depth again so that the horse's leg is not selected. To fully remove the horse's leg, I can enable post-processing, contract the map slightly, and give it a bit of blur. That same region of the ground remains selected, but that should be okay with a gentle correction. I'll switch the quality back to better and disable the preview. Since we copied over our corrections from the previous node, the ground in this area is quite a bit brighter, so I'll adjust the custom curve to bring that down. And I'll increase the saturation a bit to increase the contrast between the living and dead soldiers. I'll toggle the correction off and on with Command or Control D. As you can see, the depth mat effect is a useful new tool in Resolve 18 for performing secondary corrections. What else are you interested in learning about color grading in DaVinci Resolve? Leave us a comment below. We'll see you next time here on MacBreak Studio. Oh,